action statement confusing? You're not alone. Processors deliberately make their statements confusing. This is done to hide fees and maximize their profits. This is a quick tutorial on how to correctly read your merchant statement. Chase first entered the processing market in 1985. PaymentTech was created in 1997 as a joint venture between Chase Merchant Services and First Data Corporation. First USA was acquired by BankOne. In 2002, PaymentTech acquired the merchant portfolios of Citibank and Scotiabank. In 2004, BankOne merged with JP Morgan during the banking fiasco that was going on at the time. In 2005, Chase Merchant Services fully integrated with PaymentTech, creating Chase PaymentTech. In 2008, JP Morgan announced the end of the joint venture with First Data and became a subsidiary of JP Morgan Chase, becoming the company that it is today. Although Chase is a long-time prestigious name in the financial world, it is just a name purchased by JP Morgan. This is your Chase Payment Tech Statement. The first page is informing you of any information or rate increases that may be relevant to your account. On page 2, under Card Type Summary, you'll find a breakdown of the cards you've accepted, the volume and your average ticket price. In the section below, Card Type Charges, you'll see a breakdown of the fees that Visa charges as well as the profit your processor makes. In the highlighted area, you'll see the assessment fees. This is part of interchange and must be paid by every merchant. Next, you have the discount fees. This is the base rate charged by the processor. As you can see on the interchange table, there's a markup of 0.02%. Under this, there is the international acquirer service fee. This is also a part of interchange and something all merchants must pay. Under this, there is the international service fee. As you can see, this fee is not included in interchange pricing and is 100% markup. In the next section, you'll find your non-qualified fees. We'll cover this shortly. In this highlighted section is your interchange differential. This is required to be paid by all merchants and is the difference between 1.42%, the base rate, and the interchange charges on premium and high spend cards. Back to the non-qualified fees. As you can see, there is $86.80 in fees. Take this amount and divide it by your gross volume of $40,485.85. You'll get a markup of 0.21%. With the original markup of 0.02%, you'll have a total markup of 0.23%. In the next section is Visa Debit. This is not to be confused with Interact. This is if you've accepted a debit card through the phone or internet. As you can see on the interchange table, there is a markup of 0.40%. 0.23% is the Chase markup, their profit. 0.40% is the markup on international cards and 0.40% is the markup on Visa Debit. Now with Interchange Plus pricing, these markups are eliminated and replaced with one single markup from the processor.